Did you ever imagine you'd be able to go to an old Total War game and recreate World War One? Well, now you can, guys, with the Great War mod for Napoleon Total War. The single-player campaign allows you to play any variety of battles that you could, of course, create yourself or with your friends, but more specifically has a campaign mode which allows you to choose everything from England, France, Belgium, Serbia, of course, Germany, all the way to even Portugal. So pretty amazing, and of course, each one of these countries has their own sort of future. I think we're gonna jump in with the German Empire and see if we can't take a look at the in-game mechanics and maybe even get ourselves into a battle. Again, if you enjoy these kind of videos, please hit that like button and drop a comment down below. Sub sub support our Wargaming channel because, let's be honest, this niche is not something that's beloved by everybody. So I really need your help on this one, guys. Subscribe if you're new, and maybe we'll do some battles in the future. Let's d jump in for the Reich. So right away, I really like this. You can enforce loyal factions, which basically keeps the old World War I alliances intact. And I think that's quite important. Um, and again, I want to be very clear here. This is a total overhaul. Even the buttons over here for government, diplomatic relations, everything has been changed. And if we look at our ministers, we've got, of course, Friedrich Wilhelm over here. We've got a head of our government and all with, you know, pretty decent portraits, I believe. So really nice. Of course, this also applies not just to that, but also to this research and to technology. Um, so we can, you know, research conventional warfare. But hilariously, we can research communism as well. Uh, if we wish to. In fact, I think it's right here. Marxist socialism. Let's go ahead and get that going at Heidelberg and at Magdeburg. The re-implementation of the mortar. Now, if we look at the actual city panels here, um, we need Marxist socialism to unlock a variety of different things, um, including the soup kitchen, of course, which makes sense. But for now, we're going to build some market stalls. And I'm just giving you guys an idea of the different things you can build here. Um, of course, you don't have to go this route. What I really want to do is get us into a big old-fashioned battle um, and see just how we perform. So I'm looking here at Berlin. I'm not seeing um, an actual general to that army. <clears throat> so let me just take a look and see if I can spot um, a general elsewhere. Looks like we've got some pretty nice armies here. I love that. The rifle infantry. We've got some artillery. Eventually, we will get some machine guns as well. But right now, I'm going to focus on recruitment. Looks like we can even get the shoots through for rifle battalions, but it doesn't look like we quite have the um, the machine gun yet. So perhaps this is something that we have to actually unlock with an armaments factory or something like that. That's pretty good to know. So <clears throat> look at this. We can actually provide autonomy for Berlin, which is pretty cool. The medium barracks, that's got to be able to bring in some additional things. Wait, oh, come on, Agrippa. Stay put. There we go. Enables research of tanks and gives us a recruitment of a machine gun bunker, rifle, infantry. These are the things we need for a proper World War I fight. So no doubt we're going to be here building quite a lot of units for quite some time before we get it right. For now, I'm going to keep it pretty simple and just pretty much try and get a large army of standard units. I'll also enlist a general here, but currently none of these generals would dare look at us with our current financial position. So you know what? Let's go back to recruitment. Boom, boom, boom. And let's get a general to lead our mighty armies here in the Reich. All right, guys. Hopefully, we'll have him in combat very soon. And I am going to give Ludwig von Walmoden Gimborn command of these armies. Hopefully, we'll be at war fairly soon. I'm not sure. I don't believe we're at war yet. So I guess we get to start... Oh, no, we're definitely at war with France. Uh, we get to start when we want, I was thinking, but maybe not. And look over here, we're also at war with Russia. So it is appropriately the First World War. Um, obviously, we've got our Austro-Hungarian allies here. But what I think we need to do is we need to grab some troops and we need to head west. Get into combat with the French as soon as possible. Or alternatively, head east and face the Russians. Well, guys, you'll be seeing a battle next, so be prepared, and we'll return when we get into the fighting. As you can see, even the technological advances have their own sort of art um, connected to it. I just really love that. And, of course, just getting us that much closer to potential victory here in the future. Now, what I'm trying to do is send our armies east to defend East Prussia. 
and I'll try and get as much support to them as possible. I can even get rail networks. All right, guys, I've decided to attack the Russians first. And as you can see, they have quite a few conscript battalions, some Polish infantry battalions, but in general, we should be able to outnumber them. Let's jump in for the attack. We've got artillery. We've got all the fun stuff. I want to be clear. This is going to be facing threats from just about everywhere. And before I got to this point, I actually nearly lost a siege in Strasbourg. In this one, it also looks like we're going to have to contend with some pretty nasty weather. So first things first, I want to get my artillery set up. And um, thanks to a few other Gronyards, I'm now learning to kind of set the artillery in different locations here. Uh, in fact, we should almost put it over here, but it's kind of hard to see. So I'll send this fellow over by the woods. Um, we will be the ones performing the attack here against the enemy, so we better be prepared. Uh, and hopefully our men are ready for a good old-fashioned fight. Look at that. We've got the good old-fashioned German uniforms, and each one of the factions has their own uniforms, of course. Um, beautifully done by the author. Let's do this, folks. So we know the enemy is somewhere over there. You know what? We can already begin bombarding them. As long as we know where they are. And here we go, guys. The opening salvo of battle. Boom! You can see they're actually leaving their entrenched positions. I don't believe they can beat us in any other way. So they're going to try to get as close as possible to dish out the damage. We're going to take some of our infantry units and start pushing forward. Remember, this is an attack. It's an assault. We have to be aggressive. Let's jump through over here, too. I might not even use the woods for cover, to be honest. Um, we've also got just a few cavalry units that we're going to push through in this battle. All right, folks. Now, of course, range here is a lot farther than you would expect. So let me just get to the edge of those uh, of those woods and let our men do the rest of the work and shut down these Russian scoundrels. We're almost in range, guys. We're almost in range. That artillery is doing a lot of the work for us, thankfully. Fire! To the dirt right ahead of us. We've got to get closer. Got to be a little more aggressive. Alright, guys. I think this is sufficient for our line. You don't usually want to keep the general too close because, see? Heroic death. He's already been hit by the enemy rounds and has been knocked out. Hopefully, we'll kill the enemy general here, though. Come on. Yes! Direct artillery strike on him. Sehr I think we may have been able to kill him, but you gotta treat him like a real World War I general. Keep him way behind the line unless you want to get him killed. Let's take a look over here. Look at those enemy trenches, and we can already see the enemy bodies piling up all over the place. We pretty much destroyed their artillery and their cavalry. And I'm gonna start moving these guys in. Good old-fashioned World War I charge. Only the best for Germany. Let's also get in there with our cavalry units. And in fact, we'll have our cavalry units do a good old-fashioned attack here. Now, as you progress through the campaign, you unlock machine guns, you unlock all sorts of different weapons, which will give you an advantage. I want to keep that, I want you guys to keep that in mind. Here we go. Begins, boys. The true combat begins. The test of manhood here. And I think it's time for us to bring our cuirassiers here. They've got their own pistols, I believe. Saw the pistols. Let's get a charge. Looks like we managed to knock out all of the Russians there. Look at all of the dead Russians during this fight. That group is certainly going to take off, but our men continue to fire. Oh, 
Да. It's looking beautiful, guys. It looks like all of them have been crushed over here. We've broken through the line, and all we have ahead of us is maybe an enemy artillery unit. I definitely want to take a look at this battle afterwards, though. No matter what happens, let's pull these men back. They don't need to be here anymore. The rest of our men will take care of the enemy. There we go, guys. It looks like they're on the run, and that looks like a victory for Deutschland. I'm telling you, you don't get much more cinematic than this particular mod. It's unbelievable. So maybe another group there. Oh, another little group of Polish infantry. But that's all it took to make them run. Right, guys i think our men must be extraordinarily proud of themselves this mod has a lot of promise i highly recommend you guys take a look obviously um you can you know play whatever country you want i do want to warn you guys that serbia is bugged right now if you click serbia the game will crash that obviously needs to be fixed but i hope you guys enjoyed this and i said in the beginning of the video what you can do to support this channel if you want to see more videos like this thank you so much folks take care and have an awesome awesome day